Okay, so in this problem, we want to find three consecutive odd integers, okay, such that their sum is 135. So let's break this down. Three consecutive odd integers is the first key thing. An example of consecutive odd integers, three in a row, one, three, and five, or three, five, and seven, right? Or five, seven, nine, or 11, 13, 15. I should have started with a nine there to keep the pattern going. Um, actually, no, I broke that. Never mind. Um, anyway, so here I'm just giving random examples, and I wanted to fit nicely, so I was talking to myself for a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, any three odd integers in a row are consecutive odd integers. So they're one after the other. But with odd integers, the, the thing is that we're adding two every time. With every hop between one odd integer and its next odd integer, we add two. So we can call the first odd integer x in our sequence. We don't know what we're starting at. It's just some variable. However, the next odd integer will always be two more than that. And then the last one will be four more than we started with. It's two more than the middle, but another two past the first one. So you can think of this as the first odd integer plus two plus another two, which is x plus four. Now sometimes it might make sense, you can even call this middle term x, and this x minus two because it's two before that, and this x plus two, which is two after that, that also works out nicely. But I'll just show this one here. So when you add them up, it says the sum is 135. So we can actually represent this. Here are the three numbers, and I'll put them in parentheses so you can see them. The first number, the second, and third odd number, when you add them up, you get 135. Now these parentheses, we can rewrite without them because essentially we're distributing one in each case, right? One x, this is one group of x plus two, so x plus two. One group of x plus four is just x plus four. Now we combine our x's, and there are three of them. And we combine our two and our four, that's six, and that's 135, right? So here we can solve this by subtracting six from both sides. So three x is 129, and we divide by three. And that's going to give us 43. X is 43. So they want us to find all the integers. Well, the first one's 43. I'll put it over here. But the next one is that plus 2, or 45. And the third one is 43 plus 4, or 47. And there they are, three consecutive odd integers in a row. And if you add them up, you do get 135. All right, hope this helped.